in this video tutorial, I will show you how to run Llama 2 model on free version of Google Colab. Llama 2 has been released by Meta AI. Llama 2 is an open source large language model. The original version of Llama was only available for research use, but Llama 2 is available for research as well as for commercial use as well. Llama 2 comes with pre-trained and fine-tuned generative text models. Llama 2 includes three different models ranging from 7 billion to 70 billion parameters. Llama 2 outperforms many open source models on most benchmark data set. So here on the extreme left, you can see that these are the different benchmark data set, MMLU, Tribeca, QA, Natural Questions. And here, uh, the comparison of Llama 2 uh, models, three different models with 7 billion parameters, with 13 billion parameters, and with 70 billion parameters, is presented with a diff other different models, which include Sam Falcon, MPD, model with 7 billion parameters and 30 billion parameters. So if you see the performance of Llama 2 model with 7 billion parameters and compare it with the Falcon with 7 billion parameters, you can see that Llama 2 model outperforms Falcon as well as MPT model as well. So here you can see the comparison of Llama 2 model with Falcon and MPT model with different model size parameters on large number of benchmark data set you can see. Plus, also, I want to also tell you that Llama 2 also outperforms OpenAI model in many use cases as well. So this is a short intro about Llama 2 model. Let's move towards the Google Colab part over here. So to implement Llama 2 in Google Colab, I will be using Llama CPB library to run the Llama 2 model. So we will use the quantize model, but we can also quantize the model using the Llama CVB library as well. But in this tutorial, I will be using the quantize Llama 2 model. So as I told you that we can also quantize the model, but it is always better to use the pre-quantize mo model. So, okay. So the Hugging Face community provides Llama 2 quantize model. So if you just click over here, it will redirect you to the Llama 2 model with 13 billion parameters. Okay, along with this on the Hugging Face community, you can see the Llama 2 model with 7 uh, billion parameters and the Llama 2 model with 30, 70 billion parameters is also available as well. So in this uh, project, I will be using the quantized model of Llama 2, uh, which is available on Hugging Face community. So if you want to just check out this model, so you can just click over here and it will redirect me to the quantized Llama 2 model, which is available over here. And I will be using this model in my, uh, in, in this tutorial. There are a lot of quantized models of Llama 2 available on Hugging Face, but I will be using the quantized model in the GGML format, but there are other quantized models available as well. So you can just check uh, that there are different quantized models over here available. So you can also use them and these are by different authors as well. So, but in this tutorial, I will be using this quantized model, Llama 2 with 13 billion parameters and in GGML format and is provided by the Do. So why we are using quantized Llama 2 model? So there are a few advantages. So using quantized model, uh, we can is uh, we can uh, we can easily run the Llama 2 quantized model on Google Colab as well as on our local system. Plus, uh, quantized model optimizes the resource usage by reducing the precision. So that is the reason that we are using the quantized model. So, but if I use original Llama 2 model, uh, that as I told you, show you over here. So I cannot run the original Llama 2 model in my over here in my free version of the Google Colab and even paid version of the Google Colab, I cannot run the Llama 2 model, but if you are using the quantized model, you can easily run it onto the free version of Google Colab over here as well. So here are the steps provided. First of all, we need to install the Llama CPD Python package. So along, I will install this package, plus I will just set Gerber's is equal to true. Along with this, I'm installing the Hugging Face a package so that I can download the Llama 2 quantized model from hugging face into this Google Colab notebook. So let us download this packages. So before uh, running the script, please make sure that you have selected the runtime as GPU. And let me just uh, 
disconnect and delete the runtime and start it from scratch. So now I will just install the packages in the first step over here. So now I'm just installing these packages. So the package installation will take few minutes. So now you can see it has started. So this will take few minutes before it is done. So you can see that the package installation is done. I have installed Lama CTV Python package because we are implementing Lama 2 in Google Code app using Lama CTV Python package along with this to download the model from Hugging Face into this Google Code app notebook. I require the Hugging Face Hub package as well. So now I will be just go over here and just just need to copy the model name from here. So I will just click on copy from here and you just need to add this model name over here and this control V and you just need to go below down and select the model base name. So here you can see that different models are provided with different quantization methods. So in this project, I will be using uh, this model with Q5-1 quantization. So you can just copy this from here and just copy this and you can just add this over here as well. Okay, so now you just need to uh, run this cell now. And now we will import all the required libraries. So I will just require a hug from, to download the model from Hugging Face, I will just import this library. And along with, as we are implementing Llama 2 using Llama CPP, so I will just import Llama package from Llama CPP as well. So now using, I will just download the model from Hugging Face Hub and here I will just pass the model name over here. Okay. And here I will just pass the model base name by just copying over, copy this from here and just add the model base name over here. So I will be downloading the Dama uh, 2 with 13 billion parameters, a quantized model from Hugging Face into this Google Code App Notebook. And this is the model which I am downloading. And I'm downloading this model from Hugging face into this Google Code App Notebook. So you can see that it's downloading. So this will take a few more seconds before it gets downloaded. So you can see that download is, uh, downloading is in process. So this will take a few more seconds. Uh, so let's wait until it gets done. Going quickly. So only around 20 seconds are left, so let's download this. So you can see that it's downloading the model from Hugging Face into this Google Colab Notebook. So that's great. So, yes. My internet connection is fine, so it's downloading rapidly. It's not taking very much time, but in case if you are facing a slow connectivity issue, internet connectivity issue, so it might take some time while downloading. So now I think it's downloading, that's good. So now here I'm just loading the model. So here you can see that I have just, uh, in my uh, variable model path, I have just initialized the model or downloaded the model. So I've just passed the model path over here and here I have just initialized the badge. So, uh, and basically here we have also have the parameter. Uh, so the badge value will be between the one and the context size. So the context size being basically mean how much uh, input character you can pass uh, at, at the input of the Lama model. So how much characters, text characters, like how many characters, uh, English characters you can pass at the input of the Lama 2 model or how much uh, English character you can uh, accept at the input. So this context defined, you can just select this value around uh, 2048 or between 0 to 2048. So you can just vary this value. So here I've just, and the batch size will be uh, between uh, one to this uh, context size value. By default, the context size value is 512. And here I've just defined the GPU layers over here and here I've just defined the CPU cores. So I've just initialized this model with none and here I'm just uh, doing this. So if you are using CPU, so this will process will take some time, but uh, here I'm just using GPU, so it's doing rapidly. So here I'm just loading the model. So you can also see the number of layers in GPU over here as well. So
So this might take few more seconds before it is ready. So you can say that it's done. So now I will just create a prompt template. So basically, uh, whenever the user pass an input to the large language model, we do not pass the user input directly to the large language model. We pass the user input into a prompt template and then pass this user input to the large language model. So please remember, we do not pass the user input directly to the large language model. We pass the user input to our template and then we pass that template to the large language model. So here the user has asked the Lama2 model, write a linear regression in write a linear regression in Python. Okay, so it has asked that write a linear regression function in Python. Okay, so I will not pass this user input directly to the large language model. I will just pass this input to this prompt template. So this input will be passed over here. Okay, so this here this input will be added over in this prompt template while this from template, this input will be sent to my sent to the large language model. I will not send this input to the large language model. I will just add this input into this prompt template over here, and I will just send this input to the large language model. And the input we will be sending to the large language model is system. You are a helpful, respectful, and honest assistant. Always answer as helpfully. And here I will just pass the user input, and here in the assistant, the out I will get the output from the, the uh, large language model. So, okay, so now I'm just uh, passing the prompt template, define the maximum token. So if you are using CPU, you can just uh, decrease the tech token size. And here I've just set the temperature value. Temperature value basically represents how much creative my model would be. Temperature value is between zero to one. So uh, if the temperature value is zero, it means the model will not be taking any bets or risks and it will generate, it will be very deterministic. But if the temperature value is 0 0.7 or 0 0.8, it will, uh, it, uh, we been, can say that the model will take risk. It can uh, uh, generate a wrong, wrong output, but it will be very creative. But if we set the value, a very low value of temperature, basically temperature value refers, uh, is between 0 to 1. So if the temperature value is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, it means the model is not very creative. It is deterministic and it is not taking any risk. But if the temperature value is 0 0.8, 0 0.9, it means the model is taking risk and it is very creative. So I'm just executing and here I've just passed the prompt template and here I'm just executing the large language model. So here we are executing this model, Gamma 2 model with 13 billion parameters and it is in the GGML format, the quantized format, okay? So here we are executing the Lama 2 model with 13 billion parameters and in GGML format. So I'm just passing this prompt template to my in, as an input to the large language model. So this prompt template is passed as an input to the large language model. Or so you can say that this prompt template is passed as an input to the Lama 2 model with 13 billion parameters and it will generate the output for me over here. So let's see, it will take few more seconds. It's done now. It has taken few seconds, but it has executed very quickly. And if I just print the response text over here, so you can see that this is passed as an input. So this is our prompt template. So this prompt template is passed as an input to the Lama 2 model with 13 billion parameters. So you can see that you are a helpful, respectful, and honest assistant. Always answer as helpfully. Write a linear regression in Python. So this is the input which I have passed. Okay, so this is the input which I passed. So this input is being added to the prompt template over here. And this prompt template is passed to the Lama 2 model with 13 billion parameters. Okay, uh, so here, uh, write a linear regression in Python. And here, this is my uh, Lama 2 assistant, which is answering. To write a linear regression in Python, you can use scikit-learn library. And here is an example of how to do it. So here, you can see that it has provided me a complete code of linear regression with an example of x and y values ranging from uh, 100, 0 to 5 to uh, 100. And here it has defined uh, complete, it has used scikit-learn library to write the linear regression code. So if you just ask it to write linear regression code from scratch, it can also do this. And here it has written the complete code. So in this tutorial, I will show, I have shown you how you can run Lama 2 model in Google Colab. So I hope you have learned something in this video tutorial. The uh, collab notebook will be provided in the description and please do like and subscribe the channel as well.